Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, today I want to talk about a couple uh, old knives. These are some Schrade um, Scrimshaw models from the late 70s and early 80s. Uh, you guys are probably familiar with this knife. Let me zoom in a little bit. Uh, I've showed this, uh, I think, multiple times. Um, got this a while back. Absolutely love this knife. This is an SC503. All right, it's a locking single blade trapper. All right, this one has um, some fish on it. Presumably bass, maybe some smallmouth or something. Looking at the coloration, uh, this these uh, knives have a ivory Durlin. Okay, Durlin's like a, a synthetic or plastic, um, but obviously has an ivory type color, so it gives the illusion, you know, that it's like a traditional scrimshaw, um, you know, an ivory. I love this knife. Uh, I've carried this a bunch of times. It's super super classy to me. Um, I just think it's really cool. Nickel silver uh, bolsters on here. Which, if you don't know, nickel silver is just a, um, you know, it's a metal, it has no silver content in it. It's a, a metal, I believe it has like copper in it and some other things, uh, but it gives a silver uh, luster, a silver type color, a shiny finish. But there's no actual silver in it. If you ever hear that, nickel silver bolsters, which is a, you know, common thing for bolsters on these old knives. Um, but yeah, very, very cool, very long slender blade, super sharp. Uh, just some old school Schrade cutlery. All right, this one has a uh, nice big brass liner lock in there. All right, so it does lock up. All right, you can push that over to close it. So uh, I love this knife, have carried it a lot. Um, and the reason I'm showing it is because I just got a counterpart to this knife. This is another um, Scrimshaw model that is in the lineup. Again, late 70s, early 80s. These two could be dated probably to like 78, 79, somewhere in there. Um, but like I said, I mean, it ranges quite a bit. They made these for uh, several years. Uh, but this one's really, really cool. This is a Barlow. All right. So zoom in just even more. We can see the image on this one is, of course, a raccoon hanging out in the log, which is really cool. Uh, I absolutely love these bolsters because these bolsters are like ornate. It's on both sides. Just looks really, really nice. Now, if you look at the back of these knives, you can see that they both have these uh, scrimshaw little areas here, and they're basically like nameplates. Uh, it's very common to engrave your initials on here. So it's really cool. These are still blank. Um, so at some point, if I want, if I find an engraver or something, I can get my initials put in there or, you know, a short word or something like that. Just really, really cool. So that's pretty common back in the day. Um, let me back this out a little bit here. So, uh, yeah, this one again is the kind of slimline single blade trapper and this one is a traditional Barlow okay so if you're not familiar Barlow has a uh, large clip point blade and we have a smaller drop point um, little pen style blade okay so you do most of your cutting with this maybe you leave the pen style blade completely you know razor sharp if this dulls out of course you can you know pop out your little blade uh, or if you just want to do finer cutting work that's the idea as well it's a smaller knife um, you know, so you can, in my opinion, reserve the secondary blade just to be razor, razor sharp, just in case the first one just dulls out a little bit and you need a nice sharp knife while well, you still have one. Pretty cool though. Very, very traditional. I absolutely love it. Um, got this in a recent trade. I did a bunch of, uh, I did a trade and the person threw in a bunch of gun stuff. Um, I don't think I'm gonna do a video on that right now. Maybe in the future I will, cause some of the things on there are pretty interesting. Some, you know, gun accessories and stuff. Uh, there was a really cool loader, um, you know, it's a magazine loader, like an old style one. But anyway, uh, this was in that package and I definitely want to do a video on this because I know I definitely talked about this before in the past. A lot of people uh, enjoyed these. You could find these. I mean, the prices range. It's all over the place. Maybe you find one for 40 bucks. Maybe they're a hundred dollars. I don't think you're going to spend more than maybe $150 like tops for one of these like brand new in the box. Um, you know, and they are available. There are different patterns as well as obviously different, um, you know, pictures, different scrimshaw, uh, but just really, really cool. So I wanted to share that with you guys. So, uh, yeah, I mean, if you guys are into, uh, all the old cutlery, traditional type knives, uh, let me know, let me know down in the comment section. If you collect the specific type of knife, why or why not, you know, it's, uh, people have all different reasons. I mean, um, some people just like the history of it. You know, having a knife in your, your pocket that you know that your, uh, you know, father and grandfather and great-grandfather carried and stuff. There's a really cool, um, I don't know, it's a cool feeling. You know, it's old school. You know, it's kind of like the, the guys who like 
old cars you know it's no different sometimes we just like old stuff and it's the uh, they don't make them like they used to kind of thing you know obviously to pick up a, a shred that was made you know last year it's totally different it's not the same company it's not it's not the same at all it's the same name but it's just not the same right so some of these older pieces are just really really unique and really cool um, but just for reference again this top one is an SC 503 all right, and this bottom one is an SC506, all right? So if you happen to be looking for these, that's where you can search up. And like I said, I mean, they're available. They'll pop up on eBay and stuff. Uh, just depends on who's selling it, who's looking. We'll really reflect on, on what that price gets up to. So anyway, that's it for now. Hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.